In another module, we configured a policy but did not add the necessary remediation CLI commands to that policy. When you are creating a new custom policy, in the remediation section, you can specify any recommendation for remediation. You can also provide the CLI remediation and validate the CLI command syntax. Only system admins in Redlock can specify CLI commands and the CLI command description. You can also add any required details for this remediation in the CLI description. So to get started, we can click on plus add new to create a new custom policy that will be remediable. I can start by adding a name. And then I also have an optional description I can add. And I'll go ahead and set the severity level for this new policy. Click on Next. This is where I need to enter my RQL query expression. That's going to define what this policy is enforcing. If you ever enter these queries and you don't get the next button, go back up to the query box and hit Return. And you'll see I've got the option to click on Next. I'm going to go ahead and skip Compliance Standards because we're focused more on the remediation for this policy. Now that I've navigated to the remediation page of the wizard, I can go ahead and start to enter in the details within the three different text boxes. For recommendation for remediation, I can go ahead and incorporate the steps for recommendations uh, when you log into the Public Cloud Console. For the CLI command, I want the actual CLI command syntax that is going to be necessary to remediate this issue in the public cloud. I can use resource variables. The parameters that you can use to create remediation commands are dollar sign resource ID. This is an identification of the resource on which the alert is generated. Dollar sign resource name. Name of the resource on which the alert is generated. Dollar sign account. That's the account ID of your cloud account in Redlock, and dollar sign region, the name of the cloud region the resource belongs to. Now that I've entered the CLI command syntax, I can click on Validate Syntax, and I get a green check mark indicating that the validation was successful. I can then add a CLI command description. All my fields have been entered. I validated syntax. And I can click on Save to save this as a new policy with the necessary remediation steps incorporated into this policy. All the system admins and account admins for this Redlock account will be notified when there are any changes to CLI commands. And here's an example of the email that is forwarded to the other admins. Remediation CLI was added to policy. GCP firewall rule allows internet traffic to SSH port 22 custom. 